Um, well, here we go. I just got a scorpion's task. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this task, and then I'm gonna do one Neve task. Which is gonna grant me 50 points. Um, actually, I don't know how many points it's gonna grant me. Yeah, 50 or so, because it's the 10th task. Because this is the, I just did my 8th task, which was skeletons. Now I'm gonna do 42 scorpions. 47 Neve. I'm doing this because uh, it's point farming. You get these tasks, you finish them in less than 10 minutes each. You do one of the hard tasks from Neve, and then you get lots of points. Um, of course, this is really, like, a good way to get points, because you don't have to complete tasks that are, like, one hour or two hour long. It's just by killing the ones that Neve gives you all the time, and I'm only... It doesn't give you much XP, which is bad, but it still gives you lots of points, and you can farm a Slayer Helmet, which is what I'm going for. I don't have the crafting level, but that's not really a problem. I'll just get a bunch of Molten Glass and do it. I'll see you when I'm uh, getting Neve task, I guess. I, I forgot to record this, but I did get 71 strength. My task was the Hellhounds, so I'm going to be doing... It was like 125 of them or something. So, I'm just going to be finishing this. The bank is only a few steps away, so I'm just not even going to pray for it. I'm just going to eat food and just go to the bank, because it's about like 10 steps away. Literally, you go through here, and then there's the, you go up here, around here, and then you go to the bank, which is right next to the entrance, so it's really easy. Also, I just hit my first 30. I uh, didn't show it because, well, I couldn't really because it takes three seconds to start. But, yeah, you can hit 30 with the whip and 71 strength potting. It's their task and using this prayer, apparently. So that's pretty cool. So I've been hitting a few, uh, a few 28s, which is pretty cool, too. I'm much faster actually, because I got 71 strength, and now I'm just going to get 73 attack. And then probably get to... Uh, actually, I'm going to stay 70 defense for a while. And hopefully just get these to like 75 before I even start training defense. Yeah, I'll see you when this task is completed. Or And also I got a hard clue, so I'm going to be doing that afterwards. Okay, well there you go. I just got my 60 points for the task, which is what I wanted. So I think I'm going to go and uh, keep doing this now. I'm not sure w whether or not uh, I'll uh, actually got 70, 73 attack and 72 HP this task, as well as um, 71 strength, so this is going pretty good. It's got uh, 89 combat, so that's a plus. I've always been 88 for a long time now, and this is pretty cool. So I'm just going to get new tasks, I think, from the... Uh, why is there two? What? Okay, well that's weird, there's two of every... What? Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep getting tasks from Neve because while well, they're better tasks, they'll just give me more XP, and I do want to train my combat stats. Instead of, um, borrowing points, I have 60 and I need 400. But I think you do gain, like, 12 every task for, um... For, uh, for the Neve task, so I think I'm gonna go for that. Also, I might need to get uh, Brother Fletching because then that's good Fletching XP. I can make my own um, my own thingy thingies. Like, I need 55 Fletching, but that's not too bad. Nothing else really I want. I mean, maybe this when I'm like 85 Slayer, but that's gonna take you. A while. That's gonna take me a while. So, um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be getting points for this either, this either, because it's just too expensive, really. Um, I mean, if you, every 10 tasks will give you two tasks to cancel, so I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be getting that, but yeah, I'm going to be hitting a new task here, I guess. Hopefully it's not something crap. 131 rare demons, that's okay. I think there might be some in here, although I don't think so, actually. I don't know. I don't know. I'll check really quick, and I'll be back. Yeah, so it does look like there are three or so greater demons in the Slayer Dungeon, so it does look like I have to bring my axe to go through to them, otherwise I do get hurt by, um, by inspectors, which is not good. So I'm going to bring my axe and go to kill these now. I'm probably going to gear back for uh, lesser defense, but more prayer bonus now. Because I'm going to be flinching these, I think. Although I might bring a lot of food and defense gear too. 
Actually, I think I'm going to stick with my defense gear and food because I can run back from here really quickly and I don't like flinching fire because it does take years, really. I'll be back when I'm done this task. Alright, here we go. I'm just starting my task now. I didn't have to run through them because you can go through that shortcut there that requires an axe, though. So I brought my... Ooh, full helm. Nice. That's, a, that's something I always wanted to happen when I'm watching, like, a video or something. They start recording in the middle of a slayer kill or something. And I always think they're gonna get a drop and It never happens. That, that's pretty cool. I just started recording for the second kill. Boom! Rune full helm. Okay, well. Anyways, um, you don't have to go through the Abedim. And yeah, hopefully these things can drop stuff because, um... My... Uh, last task, the Hellhounds didn't drop anything because, of course, Hellhounds do not drop anything except from hard clue scrolls. They literally only drop hard clue scrolls. They cannot drop anything from the drop table. They don't have anything else. So, hopefully, this task will or can drop some new... St Ooh, some Lauren, some f a lot of fire runes. So, hopefully, this task can go s drop some good stuff already on a good, uh... Already good on this uh, rune for home here. So, hopefully... I'm just gonna get some more stuff and I'll resume if I do get anything though. Good. Also, it does look like I thought that these would be stronger than Hellhounds, but it does look like they are actually weaker. Because I've only used about one food so far and I've killed like four. I'm um, actually. Yeah, like six. So. Overall, these are actually kind of weaker than the Hellhounds. They are, I think, lower level, but I, th I just thought they would be stronger because they're much bigger, as you can see. They're demons, really. Hellhounds are just dogs. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, so I'm not going to have to do so many trips. Also, I thought the run would be much longer because the, the map doesn't actually show uh, some greater demons to be here. Actually, I guess it kind of does because it is. Um, yeah, actually it does. I didn't think about it. But yeah, they're not that far from the... From the start. Yeah, I'll be back if I do get anything or at the end of the task. There's 58 Slayer. That's a good level. I think that just not, doesn't unlock too much. Actually, it doesn't unlock Cave Horror, so I might be doing the quest for that soon. Because I do know they're quite good money because the masks do sell for like 500k. They drop a lot of clues and seeds, so I might be going to do that quest soon, so you might see that in the next few. So there you go, I'm about to finish this task, and I'm probably going to end it here because I'm getting pretty tired. And there you go, 12 points for finishing my 11th task in a row. Obviously, they're not going to be as um, as rewarding as finishing something like your 10th uh, task in a row, which gives you 60 points, but oh well.